Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six String Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but 10 classic songs for fingerstyle guitar. So there is a huge amount you can learn in this video. All the songs that are around the beginner level. So if you've been finger picking for a little while and you're looking for some great songs to learn, then you've come to the right place. Really hope you enjoy the lessons. If you do, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want the full lesson and the tab for any of the songs, just follow the links through down in the description. So to start things off, the first classic song that we're going to learn is Elvis's Can't Help Falling In Love. We're in standard tuning for this, and I've placed a capo onto the second fret. So the first few bars for this song go like this. Okay, so that's a C, speaking as if there were no capo, that's a C to an E minor. So hold down a C chord and all you want to do is play the second string and the fifth string together and then just play the fourth string. That's all you do on the C chord. And then for our E minor, Keep the 2nd fret on the 4th string held down, but also add the 3rd fret on the top string, okay? And play the 6th string, uh, the 1st string and the 6th string together. And then we're going to play strings 4, 3, 2. So all together you've gone. Like that. That goes straight to A minor, and just like the C, play strings 2 and 5, followed by 4. Okay, so. And then we stay on the A minor for one more bar, and you're going to get. So, that second bar on the A minor, we're going to play strings five, four, three, two, then the third fret on the second string, and then open first string. So that's. Then go straight to an F chord. So hold down your F and play the first string and the fourth string, then the third string, and then to your C chord and strings one and five, followed by two, three, four. So from the F. Okay, and then it's a G chord, so hold down the third fret on the sixth string and the third fret on the second string, play those two together. Okay, so F, C, G. Okay, so you play those two, and then the fourth string. And then back to the sixth string, and then the fourth string. So that's just. And then it's open third string, and to your F. So on your F chord there, I played the third and the fourth string, and then we're going to play strings two, three, four. And then same idea on a G chord, all you need is the third fret on the sixth string, hold that down and play the second string with it, and then again strings two, three, four. So you've gone. And then A minor, play strings two and five, followed by four, okay, and then you've got, so on the F there, because you're an F chord after the A minor, hold that down, but also add the third fret on the second string, play that with the fourth string, then open top string, then third string, and then first fret on the top string. So that's like, okay, so. Back to C, 
and play strings one and five together and then we could play strings two three four so then to your G but remember this time uh, this time it's going to be with the third fret on the second string play that with the bass followed by the fourth string okay and then to C and you've made it so the last few bars go like So here it is from the start of the verse, slowly. Hopefully you're okay with Can't Help Falling In Love. Next up we've got a song by, in my opinion, the greatest band of all time. It's the Beatles with Here Comes The Sun. For this one, again we're in standard tuning and I've placed a capo onto the fourth fret. So the first few bars of this one go like this. So that's a D chord, a G chord and an A7 chord. Again speaking as if there were no capo. So on the D chord hold that shape down and play the fourth string and then you're going to play the top string then the second string and then open top string and then back onto the second fret of the top string. So that's the, that classic melody line there. Then play the second string, then the fourth, and then again the top, followed by open top. So. And then the second string, and then open second string. So that's everything that you do on the D chord there. That goes to your G chord. So hold down the bass note, the third fret on the sixth string, play that, then the third fret on the second string, followed by open top string, back to the second string, third fret, and then open second string. So the G there you've played. Okay. That goes to your A7. Okay, so I would like to hold down the full chord, the A7 shape, play the second string, which will of course be the second fret, with the bass, the fifth string, and then pull that second fret off, and then hammer it back on, so, and then the third fret on the same string, and then open top string. So that's. Okay, so if you put all of that together, it's the first four bars. got that and then it goes back to the D okay so that's exactly the same as the previous D that we played and here it goes to the G but it changes here it goes okay so slightly different you get that this time so you've played the open second string then you go to your G, play the bass note, and then on the top string play two open, and then on the second string play three, two. So, okay, you get to there, then you're on the A7 chord, so you play the bass, 
Okay, then pull off that second fret on the second string. All right, then hammer it back on. So it's quite tricky. But it's like that. Up to the third fret on the second string and then open top string. So from the G. Okay, so let's go over that. That's the first eight bars. Here they are again, slowly. Back to the D, same as before. Okay, and that leads straight into the chorus. So, first few bars of the chorus go. So as you can see, we're on that D chord again, so hold that down, play the fourth string. And then on the top string, play two open, and then two. Okay, then the third fret, or I should say the second string, which is the third fret. So, here comes the sun. That's that bit. And then we've got the little melody line. So, fourth string, top string, second string, open top string, and then back to the second fret. So. Open second string. Okay, and we're leading to our G chord, so we play the bass note of our G. Then on the top string, two open, two, Okay, this time we go to an E chord or an E7 chord. So we play, what we do here is we play the third fret on the second string. Okay, and then an E chord, so play the sixth string open, and then on the top string play two open, and then back to the third fret on the second string. So from the G. All right, so, so far on the chorus. That then goes back to the D chord um, and play the fourth string, and then two open on the top, then the second string, and then the third string. So, okay. So the chorus so far is. And then we just got the. That's a really lovely run. So what we do here is we're sliding into the fourth fret on the third string. Okay, I slide probably from the third fret or the second fret, doesn't matter. But after the fourth fret, then we play the third fret on the second string and then the top string. So, and then it's the second on the third string. And then with your fingers held down like that, play the second string, first string. So, Then open up the third string in the same pattern. So strings three, two, one, and then back on second fret. So you've gone. And then you're just gonna pull off on the second string three to two, and then four to two on the third string. And that's it. Okay, so. So here's the chorus once more.
If you're enjoying learning how to play these songs and you'd like to pursue finger picking more, then why not try out one of my courses? Over on my website, I've got a whole bunch of courses all on fingerstyle from complete beginner right the way up to advanced level. So if you're learning these songs and you're finding them challenging but really rewarding, then you're gonna absolutely love my course, The Complete Guide to Fingerstyle Guitar, Beginner Level. This course starts right at the very beginning of finger picking and carries you right the way up to an intermediate level, leaving no stone left unturned and ultimately laying the rock solid foundations that you truly need to be successful with finger picking. But on from that, if that seems a little bit too easy for you, there's also an intermediate level course and an advanced level course, each one following on from the previous one. So a trilogy of courses teaching you everything that you could ever want to know about finger picking. So check them out. You're going to absolutely love them. You can even try the courses out completely for free when you join my maiden list. So links in the, descri in the description, sign up and start having some fun with finger picking. Next up, we've got a real classic country song, really great sing-along song. It's Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. So let's learn this one. Okay, so that's a C, A minor, G, F. So hold down your C chord and just play the third string open twice. And then what you're going to do is you're going to play the second fret on the third string with the bass note of the C chord. Okay, so like that. Then the fourth string of your C chord, and then open third string. So slowly. Okay, then we're gonna walk down three, two on the fifth string to open, because that leads you to your A minor. Okay, so we hold down at A minor, minor, then play the fourth string. And then you're going to play the third string and the fifth string together. And then the fourth string with the open third string. And then back to the third fret. Oh, sorry, second fret on the third string. So that's like that. Okay, then we stay on A minor, play the fifth string, the fourth string and second string together open fifth string and then you're going to play the second fret on the sixth string and that walks into your G chord okay so from the A minor like that okay so then hold down also the third fret on the second string we played the bass note then play the fourth string and then play strings two and six and then two on its own followed by the fourth string so, like that. Then strings one and six. Remember the first string's open. Then the fourth string, second string, sixth string, fourth string. So that bar is. And if you add that to the first bar of this G, you've got. Okay, so from the top. That then goes down to an F. So hold down an F, and if you can, get your thumb around the back and play the first fret on the sixth string. So play an F like that, because you want to play that sixth string in the bass, and with play that with the third string of your F chord. 
Okay, and then play the third string again with the fourth string. So like, and then again strings three and six. But this time pull off that second fret on the third string to open. So, and then we put it back on and play the third string and the fourth string together like this. And then first fret on the second string. So. from the G and then go straight back to your C chord. On the C chord just play strings 5, 4, 5, 3, 4 and do that twice. So 5, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 3, 4 and then Basically the verse is going to go around again after that. So it remains on the C for another couple of bars. So play strings 5, 4, and then 3 and 5, and then 4 and 5. Sorry. We play 3 and 5, then play 3 and 4. So. Okay, and then like before, you want to play the second fret on the third string with the fifth string. And then the fourth string on your C chord and then open the third string and walk down to your A minor. So let's go right the way back to the G and then the F C and then as I say the verse will start again here and we're on this A minor right here. So hold the A minor down and play strings 3 and 5 then four, two, five, so. And then one and four, so. And then one and four, sorry, one and five. Okay, and then the fourth string, fifth string, and then again, second fret on the sixth string, because we're walking up, we're walking up to our G. So the A minor so far, G we've got that so holding down our G chord remember third third fret on the second string with the bass okay so play those together and then strings four two six four one six four two six four so like down to our F. So hold down our F, thumb around the back holding down the first fret. You want to play that with the third string, then the second string, then the fourth string, so like, and then two and six, and then add the third fret onto the second string, play that with the fourth string, so, and that goes back to our C. Okay, and that will lead into the chorus. So I'll just show you that last C there. Hold down the C chord, play strings two and five, then four, three, two and five, and then third fret on the second string with the fourth string. So. And then. As I say, into the, into the chorus. So here's the verse. So then you're going to stay on the C and you'll get Take me home to the place. Okay, so we're on the C. 
and play strings one and five, then four, and then five, three, four. And then five, four, one and five, two and four, and that goes to your G. And again, third fret on the second string, play that with the bass. And then four, six, three, four, so. Followed by six, four, one and six, two and four. Okay, so your G there is. A minor. So on the A minor there I played two and five, four, five, three, four, and then five, four, one, five, and then add the third fret on the top string and play that with the fourth string. So that's So, so far in your chorus. And then F up here. So this is quite hard. What I'm doing is I'm barring the fifth fret on the top three strings and I'm playing, and I've got the sixth fret on the second string. And then I'm holding down the 8th fret on the 5th string. That's an F chord. So with your fingers held down like that, play strings 1 and 5, then 3, and then 5, 2, 3. So. Okay, and then continuing, 5, 3, 1, 5, and then 2 and 3 together. So all together. So that's probably the hardest part of the whole song. That goes back down to our C. We hold down the C chord, but add the third fret on the top string. Okay, play strings one and five together, and then lift off that pinky and play strings one and four. So, and then five, three, four, five, four, one, five, and then two and four. So your C there is like, Nearly there because after that you go back to your G just like before. Two second string and sixth string together. And then open top string with the fourth string. So and then six three four six four one six and then two and four. So down to your F like this. Play strings two and six, followed by four, and then six, three, four, so. And then six, four, two and six. And then third fret on the second string with the fourth string. I'm back to C. And you've got it. So here's the chorus to this one once more slowly. Hopefully you didn't struggle too much with Country Roads. Now let's learn a real classic jazz song, Fly Me to the Moon.
Okay, so here we go. That's the first few bars. So it starts on an E minor. All you really need is the third fret on the top string. So then I'll play that with the second string and the sixth string. And then play the second fret on the top string, followed by open. And then play 3 1 on the second string. So you've got. That goes to an A minor 7 chord. So hold that down and play strings 5 and then 4, 3, 1, and then 3rd fret on the top string. So Okay, and then it's going to D7. So hold down a D7 chord and play the top two strings together, followed by the bass, then the third string, open top string, and then three one on the second string, and then open second string. So, so so far. That goes to a G and just hold down the third fret of the sixth string. Play that. And then I'll just fill out the bar with, you know, a few arpeggiated notes. So I'll play strings four, three. Then I make it a dominant seventh chord by adding the third fret on the fourth string. Play that, and then strings three, two. So like that. That's your first four bars. Notice that I'm really swinging the notes. So try and get that into your own playing when you're, when you're doing this as well. But after that comes a C chord and you just play. So just hold down the C chord there and play strings one and five together. Then third fret on the second string, first fret, and then open. Nice and straightforward. Okay, and then here, hold down the 2nd fret on the 6th string and the 2nd fret on the 3rd string, play those two together, followed by open 2nd string, 1st fret on the same string, and then open top string. So. And then we get this. So that's over a, a B7 chord there. So I'm kind of holding down a B7 shape, but you don't need the top string held on. So hold that down and play strings five, four, three, and then stretch up to the fourth fret on the second string. And then, so play that. And then play the first fret on the second string. And then open second, and then the third string second fret. So and that goes to an E minor. And on the E minor, I'll just play strings three and six. Okay, then a probably just a really light strum. Just like that, and then I'll strum an E7. Okay, so that's just simple as that. And then open third string, and then that goes to an A minor seven, D seven. So on the A minor seven, we've played the open third string, then play that again with the fifth string, and then the top string open twice. So followed by the fourth string, and then the third string, and then the second string. So. as I say, to a D7, but make it a D7 sus4. So instead of like this, take that top fret, top string, up to the third fret. Hold that down and play the fourth string, then the third, second, first, and then take that third fret down to the second. So like, so. And 
it goes to a G. So there, I'm holding down a bass note of a G, but I've also got the third fret on the second string held down. I'll play the bass note, then the second string, then the fourth string, and then the sixth string, and then the fourth string. So just from the D7. And then I'll just arpeggiate an E7 chord. So I'm holding down E7 like that, and I'm just playing the strings. Six, four, three, two. Okay, and then, so then again, that's your A minor seven, third string open, and then again with the fifth string. So, then the second string twice, followed by the fourth string. Then I'll probably just do a really light strum on the chord, like, and then to finish. So that's a D7, but you want your top string open to start off with. Play the fourth string, then the third, then the top string, and then three, one, on the second string. Okay, and then down to your G chord, play the bass note, followed by open second string, and then the fourth string, sixth string, and then just a light strum on the chord, probably. So from the A minor seven there. And then I'll just play a B seven chord and you can strum or just pick maybe strings two, three, four and five together twice. And that's it. So from the top. So the next one that we're going to learn is one of the most simple and beautiful songs that I can think of. It's Ain't No Sunshine by the great Bill Withers. Okay, so that classic line in no sunshine when she's gone, goes like this. Second fret on the fourth string, followed by open third string, and then second fret on the third string. So, and then first fret on the second string, followed by open second string, and then open third string. So. And then you go into an A minor, so play the bass note of an A minor, and then up, hold down an A minor chord, and then up on the third string. So like. And then strum your A minor chord, and then you've got. So that's just an E minor, and all you need to do is play the sixth string, and then strings two and three or two three four on the same chord so and then same thing on a G chord so it's just so and then 
play uh, A minor, so what? So hold down an A minor, play the fifth string, and then it's the same line again. Okay, but this time, once you get to that open third string, hammer it down the second fret on the third string onto your A minor chord. So like. Okay, and then again, strum A minor, and then E minor, G, A minor. So, so far. And then we got. So that line there, second fret on the third string twice, then the first fret on the second string, open first string, so, and then third fret on the second string, and then open top string twice. And then it comes down E minor and play the third fret on the second string with the sixth string, so E minor seven really. Feel free to play the G string in there as well if you want. And then... So that there is 2nd fret on the 3rd string. And then 3-1 on the 2nd string. And then 2 open 2 on the 3rd string. And then you're going to play open 3rd string and open 4th string together. And quickly hammer the 2nd fret on the 3rd string. Okay. And then you're going to go one three one on the second string. And then two open two on the third string. And then A minor chord and again play that third string, second fret with the bass. And then just like before, strum E minor. So the last few bars that we just learned go. And from the top. Ain't no sunshine. So now we're going to learn Alleluia, originally by Leonard Cohen, but we're going to focus more on Jeff Buckley's version of it. We're in standard tuning for this one, and we have a capo placed onto the fifth fret. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, you're going to start basically on a G chord, again speaking as if there were no capo, but first off play the second string open, and then hold down the third fret on the second and the sixth string, play those two with the third string, okay, so, and then the fourth string, and then strings two and three together, 
and then two, three, and six, and then the fourth string. So, and then you're going to play the second string with the second fret on the sixth string. Okay, so. And then to E minor. So you just hold down an E minor chord and play the two E strings, followed by the fourth string, first, and then one and six together, fourth, and then we're going to walk back up to our G. So you're going to play the second fret on the sixth string with the open second string. Okay, so. All right, so, so far you've gone. And I think you basically just do that twice. So again, you've got the G down to your E minor. Okay, until you get to there, this time play the third fret on the second string and you go into a C chord. Okay, so you've, that's the third fret on the second string. And then hold down a C chord and play your strings one and five, and then two, three, and then one, two, and five. So, and then one, one and five, three, and then third fret on the second string. And then we're going to a D chord. So I'll just hold down, well, to play like this. Okay, and play strings two and four, three, and then the first fret on the second string. Okay, so from that C chord. Okay, and then G G chord, again, third fret on the second string. Play that with the sixth string, followed by strings three and two, and then six. Four, three. So again from the C. And then D. And start with the top string open, play that with the bass, and hammer the second fret on the top string. And then play strings two, three, four. So back to the beginning of this one now. And then you're going to play the open second string, back to your G. So that's the same as before, so holding down our G just like this, strings 2, 3 and 6, 4, 2 and 3, 2, 3 and 6 together, 4, 2 and 3 together, so. Then we go to our C chord and play strings 1 and 5, followed by a 2, 3. Then a D chord, same thing, but 4 and 1 to start. So that's then E minor. Okay, so kind of like an E minor seven chord, really. I'm holding down there, but it's the third fret on the top string and the second string, and then the second fret on the fourth string. That's the shape that I'm holding. And I'll play strings one and six, and then four, three, one, two, three. Keep your pinky held down and then form a C shape as well, okay? And then play strings one and five, and then two, three. So you've gone, uh, so you've gone like. And then I'll play this. So it's the fifth fret on the top string, third fret on the second string, and third fret on the fifth string. Play that together with the G string in there. Then I'll play the third fret and then OK, 
Okay, so we've played the third fret on the top string, and then it's a D chord. And I'm holding down the fifth fret, the third fret, and the second fret. And I'll play strings one and four, two, three, and then one and four. And then the top string, fifth fret. And then up, seventh fret on the top, then the fourth fret on the second string, and the sixth fret on the fifth string. Okay. I'll play those strings together. And then we get... Kind of play something like that. So that's the seventh fret twice. And then slide down to the fifth fret. And then play it again. And then I'll play the fifth fret again with the bass, open sixth string. Slide that top string up to the sixth fret. Back down to the fifth, and then the third. Like that. So that's quite hard. Like that. And then we've got the chorus. So there, to get into it, I'm playing the second and third string open. And then the same thing, but third fret on the second string. So, and then hold down a C and play strings one, two, and five, followed by four, three, one, and two, three, four, so. And then five, four, three, one, and two, all together. And then the third fret on the second string, down to E minor. And I'm really just arpeggiating the chord there, strings two and six, followed by four, three, two, three, four, six, four, three, two. So. Again, the third fret on the second string, and we do the C just like before. Third fret on the second string, but the ending we go to a G this time. D, and then you're basically done. So we're on the G. You've just played the third fret on the second string, and it's a G chord. Play strings two, three, and six, followed by four then three, then six, and then pull off one open on the second string. So. And then I'm playing a D slash F sharp, and I'll play the second fret on the third string with the second fret on the sixth string. Then the fourth string, open third string, and you're done, back to G. So here's the chorus once more. So you play Hallelujah. So now we're going to learn a sad, but again, really, really beautiful one, Killing Me Softly with his song. So to start off with for this one, we've got... Okay, so that's just an E minor, third fret on the top string. Play the bass with that, so the open sixth string. And I'll also play the second string with that open. And then play the top string three more times. So all together. And then play open first string, open second string, third fret on the second string. Okay, so. 
then play the bass note of an A minor chord, so the fifth string, and then play the first fret on the second string. So. Okay, then to a D chord, hold that down, and play strings one, two, and four, and then top string three times on its own. So. And then you're going to play the second string, third string, and open second string. So that is. Okay, all together. That goes to a G, and just play the bass note of a G, and then we're going to walk down three, two, open because we're going to an E minor. So that's. But with that open string also play strings two and three. And then play the B string, the second string, three more times. So. Followed by open top string, then third fret on the same string. And then you're going to play the second fret on the top two strings. Okay so. Okay, and then the fifth string open because you're on, a, on an A chord now, followed by open top string. So. Then up to the fifth fret on the top string, play that three times. And then you're going down to a D chord, and it's starting on really a sus, sus four chord, D sus four. So you're going to play the third fret on the top two strings, followed by the fourth string open and then the second fret on the top. So that's like. Then you're gonna play the second string, then the top string, okay. And then you go into a C chord. So just flip and hold the fifth string, third fret down, play that, open top string. So. like that and then open top string and then so that there was the open string uh, sorry open top string twice then third fret on the top string back to open and then this one will go down the string to the third fret of the sixth string play that and then the second string third fret so Okay, open second string, third fret on the second string, and then a C like this, play the bass note to the first fret on the second string. Okay, so. So. And then second string three times, and then open second string, down to an F. You can play the first fret on the sixth string or the fourth fret, or sorry, or the fourth string, third fret, it doesn't matter, either way. But then after that, play the third string, second fret for your F chord. So like. Okay, and then you're just gonna play that third string, second fret twice more, and then it's just an E chord. And that's it, all right? So let's go right the way back and play it slowly. That's how you play Killing Me Softly with his song. Now we're going to learn how to play a really romantic song, Wonderful Tonight by the great Eric Clapton.
All right, so this is a really nice one to play. Let's jump straight into it. And let's learn how to play this part first. So that starts on a G chord, and you just really need the third fret on the sixth string held down. Then play strings four, three, four, and then two. And then you're going to play third string, two, pull off to open, and then back on. So. And then we go down to our D sharp slash, sorry, a D slash F sharp. So this third fret on the sixth string just goes down to the second fret. And play string six, four, three, four, open two, and then again, two, pull off to open on the third string and then play the second string on the fourth fret. I said that wrong, the second fret on the fourth string. So. Okay, so so far. And that goes to a C chord. Okay, so hold, add on the third fret on the fifth string and we're going to play strings five, four, three, four, two, which will be open, and then again G string two pull off to open. So so from the D. Okay, and then you just got. To the verse. So that there is second fret on the third string and the sixth string together, then play the fourth string, and then it's the fourth fret and the third fret together, same strings as before, and then open fourth string. So, and then first fret on the second string with the open fifth string, and then we're just going to play strings three, one, three. you into your verse. So that there is the third fret on the second string with the sixth string third fret. So then we're into the verse and you've just played strings two and six on this G chord, on this G chord, and then play strings four, three, four, and then open second string, and then one pull off to open, and then second fret on the third string. So Okay, and that leads down to our D slash F sharp. So second fret in the, on the sixth string, and you've just played the second fret on the third string, but also add the third fret on the second string. Okay, so you've just played that one, and then play the sixth string, the second string, and then the fourth string. And then we're just gonna play six, three, and then it goes to C. So that there, hold down your C chord and play five, three, four, open second string twice, and then one pull off on the same string to open, and then play a B string open once more. So. And that goes straight back to your D stash F sharp. So you hold that down, play the sixth string, and then third string and fourth string together, and then the third string again, bass, third string, and then open, second, and back to your G on the sixth string. All right, so from the C, So that's the first part of the verse. And then that all goes around again, the same as before. So 
exactly the same. Until you get to there, and then we walk up to C. And you get this. Okay, so we walk up to the C after your D slash F sharp. And you do that by on the fifth string playing open two three, and then you're on your C chord. So you hold that down, you play the fifth string, third fret, and then you play the fourth string, third string, fourth string, and then the top string three times, and then it's the third fret on the second string. Okay, so yeah, D slash F sharp again, and here you just play. Six, three, four, six, three, four. And then you've got. So that's just on a G, and you just need the bass held down, play that, followed by the fourth string, second string open, and again. So. And then second string open again, but with the second fret in the bass, and then third fret on the second string. So, and then open third string. That leads to an E minor. And I'll just arpeggiate via playing strings six, five, four, three. So that there is just open third string, second fret on the same string, open second string, and then C. And on that C I play strings two and five, three, four, three, and then one, uh, sorry, and then second string, and then open second string. So. Okay, and then D slash F sharp, second fret on the third and sixth string together. And then third string, and then third string again. So like, and you're nearly there. Second fret on fourth string, and then open third string. So, and that just leads straight back into. that really nice melodic part there. So here it is once more slowly. Okay, so there's just two more songs left, and the penultimate song that we're going to learn is No Woman No Cry by Bob Marley. So this is a really fun one to play. You're going to start on a C chord, so hold that down and play strings 2 and 5, and then 4, 3, 1, and then 2nd fret on the 5th string with the open 2nd string, okay, and then 1st fret on the 2nd string, open 2nd string, and then you go into an A minor, hold that down and play the 3rd string. So.
So you put in C, G slash B, A minor. Okay, so you've played, you're on your A minor, you've played the third string, and then play strings five, four, three, and then we're going to an F chord, and you're gonna play the fourth string. Okay, and if you can, get your thumb around the back and hold down the first fret on the sixth string, play that, and then strings four, three, four. Okay, so. All right, a bit fiddly, but you know, watch it as many times as you need to. Then it goes back to C. And you've got that. So on the C chord, play strings one and five, and then four, three, two, and then this is, it's really over an F chord. So I'm playing the first fret on the top string and the second fret on the third string together, and then open the same two strings, and then third fret on the second and the fourth string, so, and then first fret on the second string and the second fret on the fourth string, so. So. Then we're on a C chord and just play strings five, four, three. Okay, so. And then you could play the sixth string, third fret, open fifth string, second fret on the same string, and then back to the third fret the sixth string and then it will just go around again So for our very last song, we're going to learn how to play Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. Incredibly beautiful, incredibly haunting. For this one, you want to put your guitar into drop D tuning. So if you don't know what that means, it just means tune your low E string down to a note of D, and you're good. And also place a capo onto the second fret. Get those two things, and you're good to go. So here we're starting on an A minor. So hold that down and play the third string. And then you're gonna play strings one, two, and five together. So, like that. So I like to roll my fingers. But you don't have to. Like that's absolutely fine. But then I'll just really lightly strum the chord. And then I'll play the fifth string and strum again. So. And then we're going to a G, we're in drop D tuning, so it's gonna be the fifth fret on the uh, sixth string. Play that, light strum, bass. And then you're gonna play the fifth fret on the second string and slide that down to the third fret. All right, so like, And as it goes down, go back to your D chord and play the third string and the sixth string. So slowly. It's like that. But once we're here, um, we've played this. I just played uh, the third and the sixth string together, light strum, 
bass, strum, bass. Okay, so. To there. So then we'll play that third string, second fret again, back to our A minor, just like before. This time to G again, bass, strum, and then we've got this. So that is the third fret on the second string, then the fifth fret on the third, then the fourth fret, and then the second will lead you onto the D chord. So fifth fret, sixth string, third fret, second string together. You can get the G string in there if you want to as well. But then remember on the third string it's five, four, and then down to your D chord. Like that. So. Okay, so on that D chord play the third string and the sixth string. And then strum, bass. But then what I do is I'll play straight right up to the fifth fret on the fourth string play that and then down to the fourth fret so you get like that but if that's too hard then just play the bass strum bass strum so something like that as long as you get that five four it fits really good but as I say if that's too hard just bass strum so, so far. That then leads into So nice to play. So A minor, hold that down and play strings five, one, two, three, and then play the third fret on the second string. Hold that down and play strings two, three, four. And then open second string. So. And then fifth fret on the sixth string and second fret on the third string. Then play the fourth string, third string, second fret, twice. So. And then sixth string, open third, open fourth, and then down to your D. So here for the D I'm playing the third string, second fret, and on the fourth string I'm playing the fourth fret. And I'll also add the third fret on the second string like that. So I might play strings three, four and six together and then strum, bass and then I'll play the fourth string, fourth fret and hammer up to the fifth. So and then just down to a regular D. So just open up that fourth string. So That's it. That just goes round twice. So that's how you play the intro to Wicked Game. I'm going to play it once more for you slowly.
So that's it for this lesson, or 10 lessons I should say. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Remember that over on my website, I've got hundreds more finger style lessons and a whole bunch of courses that you can take if you really want to take your playing up to the next level. But until next time, thanks a lot, and I'll see you again.